And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hi, welcome to the Dice Tower. Today we're going to review Laser Maze. Now, Laser Maze is not a game like we normally do. Instead, it's more, well, it says game on it, but it's essentially a puzzle. It's from Think Fun. You probably know them from Rush Hour and many other little puzzle games that they do. But this is a puzzle with lasers, and it was actually uh, designed by, uh, or helped one of the designers is a guy who made Ket, the laser game that I played a long time ago and reviewed that and enjoyed it. And many of the puzzles were made by uh, uh, some folks that I've played puzzles from before on the internet, and you can look that up. But it's an interesting thing. It does lasers. I'll show you. Okay, we have a board here, and this board is just a plastic board that just fits here and has different uh, a grid on it here, a 5x5 grid. You have your laser, which has, you can see the laser beam shooting out of it. It's actually a very weak laser, and I'm not sure if that's because of the requirements that lasers have to be nowadays, or but it, it, it doesn't work that well. Um, maybe it needed new batteries, I don't, I wasn't going to go out and buy new batteries to find out, but it didn't matter because I I could figure out where the laser was going. So it was more of a visual effect than anything else. You have these mirrors here, and these mirrors will reflect the laser at a 90 degree angle. Also, most of the mirrors have a red side in the back. Those are targets that you might be trying to hit. You have this small piece here, which is simply put somewhere just to stop other pieces from going here. We have a yellow window. This is basically a checkpoint that the laser beam might have to go through. We have a double-sided mirror so it can bounce the laser beam off at 90 degree angles two different ways. And then we have these beam splitters that allow the beam to go through them. If you notice, you can see what's behind it, but it also bounces it so it will change it into two. And then later on, possibly three different targets that you will have. Here is basically, this is the easiest one. I'm going to show this one to you here. It shows you where to put each of the pieces. So I put the laser here and I put this here. There's a red spot there to show that that's, what, that's the target. There's one target on this board. And then I'm supposed to put the blue piece anywhere I want. Okay, come on. Easy. Bounce, boom, boom, done. Okay, but that's just the beginning one. Let's show you what a more complicated one will look like. And I'm not going to show you the solution, but I'm going to show you what just basically what a complicated one looks like. Here's one that has one target. So the first thing we do is we set up how the, the target thing goes. We have this goes here, that goes there, this goes here, this goes like this, this goes like this, and then I have a yellow and three more purples that need to go on the board. That's what this shows here. You'll notice that there's a three purples and a yellow will go on the board anywhere I want. And the red laser, it shows a question mark because I'm not really sure how that's supposed to be set up. I know I'm supposed to hit one target. I don't even know what that target's supposed to be. So I can look and say, okay, it bounces there, bounces there. How does all this work? So maybe if I shoot it here and it bounces off that, which then bounces to that, which then bounces to that, which then bounces to that, which then goes to here, and no, that's not gonna work because it needs to actually hit a target. Um, but, uh, uh, okay, and that's basically how the, the game works. Now, like the first one, if you look on the back of the card, it shows you the solution, okay? I won't turn this one over because I don't want to spoil the solution for you, but there are different ones in there, and each of these different intermediate, advanced, and experts, they will show you how to set it up, and if there's a question mark, basically that means it, it's in that spot, but you don't know the rotation of it. And then these are ones that are added to the board and the rotation of them, well, that's up to you. And it goes all the way up to expert. There are 60 different puzzles within the game. Once you beat a puzzle, you can go to the next one, and that's how you play Laser Maze. All right. I don't, I don't want to criticize the game on having a weak laser because maybe the batteries in mine were just not that strong. Because the laser works, it just didn't bounce off more than one mirror very well. But that's fine because, again, you can kind of just trace it yourself. You don't actually need the physical laser. But the, the idea of the laser shooting off all those mirrors is cool. Now, 
Let's start off with how hard do you think the game is? I think we both agree that the very first few puzzles were like obvious. Actually, I really liked it because it did was easy in the beginning and then the end was like really hard. <laughs> oh, I can't even do the hardest puzzles. Not yet anyway. They're very difficult trying to figure out where to put everything. It's, but to me, this is, uh, this is a puzzle where I like to use, this is one where I, my brain loves. I love the bounce off at right angle degree thing till you get to the, till you get to the final point. That's a kind of puzzle that I enjoy quite a bit. I mean, the laser idea is cool, but I like that. And the pieces are good quality pieces yeah. and they easy to move around. They like a few times and they still didn't break. <laughs> so did you like it? Um, it was fun. Um, I did like how there are different types of mirrors. Um, unlike some, like where they just have the corner. Um, well, do you mean you like the splitter, the, where it splits the beam yeah. and... and then the one that had the devil sided. Right, and that waypoint, oh, waypoint, because I'll have it all perfectly set up. I'm like, well, but it has to go through the waypoint, and the waypoint's over here. How, was I, how am I supposed to do it? It's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good thing with a puzzle game. 60 puzzles, I think, will last you a long time, although I guess technically you only have 59 since I showed you how to do the first one. Spoiler me, but... <laughs> Uh, it's a good one if you have kids. It's a good way. I love using these things with kids because it's a good way to make their minds grow, to make them work out. And it's fun because they're using a laser. I mean, just think about this. The name, Laser Maze. I'm there. And most people would be, right? So, another winning puzzle from Think Fun Games. Do you agree? Yeah. Laser Maze. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Yeah.